Welcome to Cook 30. I'm Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand, and I also wrote the Revive Cafe cookbooks. And today I'm going to show you how you can make cafe style meals in your very own home. Cook 30 food is all about using whole foods, foods that's rich in nutrients and energy. We're going to be using lots of proteins like nuts, beans and legumes, whole grains like brown rice and quinoa, lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, and tying it all together with great international flavours and herbs and spices. And the best part about Cook 30 food is you do not have to slave for hours in the kitchen. In just 30 minutes, you can cook a great healthy meal for your family, and I'm now going to show you how. And it's going to be easier than you thought. On today's menu, we have a bit of an Asian theme going on. We're going to start with an Asian peanut stir fry. It's really delicious. We're going to serve on the side honey glazed tofu. Also we've got a great green salad with Asian sesame greens. And on the side we have some indame, which are soybeans, which are very delicious and a nice snack food. And to finish off, refreshing sliced pineapple with mint and lime. To make sure you want to be able to cook healthy meals quickly, you need to make sure your kitchen's set up. So we've got a nice clear bench space here, good chopping board, nice sharp knife. We've boiled the jug and we've got two pans on, nice and hot and ready to go. That'll save us quite a few minutes in the cooking process. First thing to get underway is the stir fry. We want to start with some onion. We're going to start with some red onion today, primarily for colour. So I'm just going to slice this up into long slices. So this will be the thing that will take the longest to cook and you really want to make the onions cook well. So I'll start off with a tablespoon of oil and get these onions underway. Press them down a bit and just start on some of the other vegetables. So we've got a nice red bell pepper and we're going to just chop this up into cubes. So doing this nice and chunky, making sure you're economising all our cuts. We've got a, um, a squash or a courgette or a zucchini, whatever they call them in your country. And all these um, different colours just add up to make a great dish. So when you're cooking, make sure you're choosing lots of different colours. And we're cutting these nice and chunky. They're going to be taking a while to cook. And they'll, um, they'll become smaller and more bite-sized when they get through the cooking process. Let's give that a bit of a stir up. We'll just let that sit there for a couple of minutes. We're going to add, also add some ginger. And this ginger puree is a great addition to any meal. So I've got two tablespoons of ginger puree. You can use um, normal chopped ginger if you like, if you've got it fresh. This is just, just so quick. Um, garlic. So we'll grab two pieces of garlic. They're quite small, so I might grab three. them in the garlic press. I'm just going to squeeze them right through into the dish. Look at that. I'm just going to leave that there on a reasonably medium heat just to, to saute away and those all caramelise and come nice, nice and flavoursome and provide a really great base for the stir fry. I just put on my things in the bin, keep a clear workspace at all times. So we're going to do some sesame tofu, which is a lovely Asian product. You can get this at most supermarkets. Just going to drain it, get most of the water out. And we're just going to um, cut it into nice big slices. Might need a bit of knife help there. So just slice it up. This is firm tofu. Go for the, the firmest tofu you can get. Um, it just stays together a bit easier. And just into nice, probably, what's that, one centimetre, half inch, third inch kind of um, sized pieces of tofu. Got another hot pan here, nice non-stick pan. Tablespoon of oil. You don't need much at all. 
and we're just going to start that cooking away. Whoa. Water and oil always seems to splatter a bit, so I might turn it down a little bit. And uh, there we go. That will gen gently cook away. You want to get some of the moisture out of it, and it will just kind of become golden brown. Um, so that will probably take a couple of minutes just to just to gently pan fry there. Now to go with that afterwards is a really nice marinade. So we're going to add some, um, make a nice marinade. We're going to use honey. So what have we got here? We have four tablespoons of liquid honey. One, two, three, four. Some soy sauce or tama tamari. And we need two tablespoons of that. That's about one tablespoon, two tablespoons. I'm going to use some lemon juice. So just the juice of one lemon. Just squeeze it through your finger to, fingers to catch the catch the pips. You can use a lemon squeezer if you want, but I'm all for shortcuts when making quick meals. And some more ginger. You never have too much ginger, so another two tablespoons of ginger. I'm just add a little bit of water, probably about four tablespoons of water. And we'll give that a bit of a stir around. And this will make a really nice marinade that we're going to pour over the tofu when it's cooked. Traditionally marinades, uh, you'd probably marinate the, to the tofu before you cooked it, but I think it's much better to cook the tofu. It's nice and hot. When we add this marinade, it just sucks it into the tofu and flavours it really, really quickly. So we're not going to do this now, but we're just getting this job underway so that when the tofu is finished, we can put it straight on. So I'll just leave that there. Also, we're going to be putting sultanas in the stir fry. And there's nothing better than... When sultanas come, they're normally quite dry like that. But it's really nice to get a bit of boiling water. And we're just going to soak them. We've got some boiling water there. We've got one cup of sultanas. And in about, in about probably five minutes, they're going to be nice and plump and juicy. When we add them to our stir fry, they'll be just a nice, really nice, juicy sultana to have in our stir fry. Now we're going to make the most delicious and easy salad you will ever have seen a sesame Asian greens. Now at your supermarket, there's all these delicious um, green vegetables. This is bok choy. I found this one today as well. I've got no idea what the name of it is, but it looks green and it's delicious and it's fresh. So just go down to your supermarket, anything that looks green and fresh and it'll probably be fine. I've got some, I think these are mustard greens as well. So just, just a nice big handful of beautiful green produce. Just chop off the ends. You don't want those. They're a little bit hard. Might chop a little bit more off. And basically slice it up. Slice them all up. And don't forget these, these nice end bits can be really nice and crunchy and juicy, so don't, don't leave too many of them off. Chop it up, always going across the grain, because some of them can be quite stringy. If you try to eat one of these by itself, it's very, very chewy, but the minute you cut it, it becomes a very pleasant experience. Chop these up into one inch strips. Pile them in our nice, nice bowl to present it with. So there's the beautiful greens, full of so many vitamins and nutrients. I'm going to just add a bit of colour as well. So we've got another bell pepper or capsicum here. And we're just going to julienne this up so it's nice and finely sliced. Be really careful when you get to the end because it's very easy for the knife to slide into your fingers. So just slow down when you get to the end. Taking fingers off is not a good thing to do when you're cooking. 
Let's give that a nice little mingle around. And then what we're going to do is drizzle some honey. So probably about two tablespoons of honey over it. I'm going to drizzle some sesame oil. It has a beautiful flavour. Another one to two tablespoons, depending on how much you want. Just give it a light kind of pick up and dress around. It'll kind of drizzle through the salad. Perhaps just another top of honey. And then just a bit of sesame seeds. So we've got some white sesame seeds. Just a light sprinkling on top. And some black sesame seeds. And these are reasonably available from all your health stores and some supermarkets. And how simple is that salad for something that's very delicious, green, healthy and fresh. So yeah, just go for those greens in your supermarket, they're fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to prepare is indami, which is soybeans. And you can buy these frozen. From um, Most supermarkets have them, um, Asian stores definitely do. And these are just little soybeans and pods, just like that. Quite um, solid and frozen. So we're just going to put this in the in a bowl, oops, and then pour some boiling water over it. And in about five or ten minutes, that'll be nicely defrosted. And also, you don't really need to cook it; just needs to be def defrosted and, and kind of warmed up. Um, sometimes they come pre-cooked, sometimes they come just raw. So you just have to just play around with the, the ones you get. So just going to leave them to sit for a couple of minutes, five or ten minutes and they'll be ready to, um, when we're ready to serve our meal. Our meal is well underway. Our tofu is nicely browning in the pan. The stir fry is caramelising and nearly ready to add all the flavour ingredients. We've got the marinade done for the tofu. The sultanas over there soaking. We've got the edamame cooking there in the boiling water and we've finished the green Asian salad. If you've just joined us on Cook 30, we're cooking a delicious Asian meal. We have an Asian peanut stir fry, accompanied by honey glazed tofu, and on the side a deliciously fresh Asian sesame green salad. We're also serving with a side of andame, that's soybeans, and to finish, deliciously fresh sliced pineapple with mint and lime. Now, let's just check on the tofu, see how that's going. We'll just flip some of this over. Look at that, look how golden brown that's going. Isn't that just beautiful? It's just lovely and brown, so that's half done. So I'll just flip all these guys over here, and we can do the other side. And this will soak up our marinade beautifully when we get to that. Whoever said tofu was boring, never added any kind of flavours to it, but it's tofu just sucks up the flavours amazingly. That's a great ingredient to use. So the stir fry, I'll just, um, just get this back up and running again. We'll just turn this up a bit. So these vegetables are beautifully caramelised now, getting nice and soft and cooked. And these provide a really great base for the rest of our stir fry. So we're going to start adding lots of lovely flavours to this. So firstly being a peanut stir fry, we want to have some, some peanutness happening. So we'll start with two tablespoons of peanut butter. One and two. I'm just going to mix this with around about four tablespoons of water. And this will just, if you just put the peanut butter on like this, just as it is, it won't mix and you have clumps of peanut butter. So this will give it like a nice peanut sauce, it's kind of like a cheats peanut sauce that we can put through it. So we're just going to pour this over the stir fry like that. I'm going to add some honey, nice healthy sweetener. We'll add two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, just to give it a bit of nice saltiness. I'll just turn it up a bit so it uh, starts cooking. We'll just start stirring it together. And these flavours will start to infuse all those vegetables and make them taste really yummy. I'm going to put in some spring onions or scallions. So we're just going to just slice these thinly. It's always good to halve things and 
minimize on your chopping. You don't want to chop every single scallion individually. So let that cook in there as well. And we'll put some peanuts. We'll put half a cup of peanuts. Generous half cup. Let's turn it up a bit more. And you can see it's coming together nicely. Now the most important thing of a stir fry is obviously rice. So in the fridge, what I've done is yesterday we had rice, a rice meal, and we had some rice left over. And this is brown rice. So whenever you have cooked rice, always cook a little bit extra and put it in your fridge. And that'll last, last a couple of days, and then you can use it in a stir fry, and you don't have to go to all the trouble of cooking it again. So if you're thinking ahead like that, it always works out better. So we're just going to put in two, two to three cups of brown rice, it's pre-cooked. Um, or you can just cook it, um, cook it before as at the beginning of this meal if you want to as well. I'm just going to fold that through, and that rice is just going to soak up all that lovely flavour. Look at that. So a stir fry, you don't want to be too generally is quite have a little bit of moisture, but it's not a liquid event. So it's just a combination with this rice, but you don't want it to be too dry. So as you can see, we've got the nice moist peanut butter the soy sauce and the honey, just giving it that bit of moisture to make it into authentic, authentic stir fry. We've also got these sultanas, which are actually raisins, I got that wrong before. So these, um, and sultanas and raisins are interchangeable, you can use either one. I generally prefer raisins. Um, so they're lovely and plump now, look at that. Just going to drain them. Put them in as well. And that, in essence, is the major part of the stir fry. And that rice will just be heating up with the, with the heat there. It doesn't need to cook, it just needs to warm up. So that's pretty much done. Now, the thing, this is actually very delicious as it is, but there's a few things we can do now that just make it awesome. And there's, so there's th three ingredients, and the first one is mint. So a good, big handful of mint. Again, cut it in half, and then chop it up finely. And that, the smell of this is just beautiful and amazing. Some cilantro or coriander, depending on what country you come from. The same herb, chop that up as well. And also lime juice. Lime juice is just going to add amazing flavour. So there's mint, the cilantro and the lime juice is just going to add this amazing flavour right through the stir fry. And it's just going to be humming in your mouth and you just love all these beautiful Asian flavours. So I'm just going to turn that off now, and that'll just continue just to keep warm, so that when we're ready to serve, it'll be ready to go. Might just put a bit more lime juice on. Limes generally don't have pips, so you can just squeeze them like that. We might just add a few extra limes, just so people can add a bit more lime juice um, themselves as well. And this beautiful, fresh mint and cilantro herb mix on top. And this stir fry will be one of the best stir fries you have ever tasted. Okay, so this tofu is looking amazing. Let's just check on this here. Look at that, nice and brown on both sides. It's nice and firm. It's cooked up beautifully. So we've got a reasonably hot, hot, hot pan here. Our marinade, we're just going to pour over. And that's just going to bubble, and the, the water's going to evaporate, and it's going to become a nice sticky mess, and it's just going to, well not a mess, a nice sticky goo, that's just going to just soak into that tofu, and just make it taste amazing. So again, I'll just turn the heat up on that a bit more, and let that bubble away, and that'll just caramelise and become a really nice, beautiful tofu. And all we need to do with that is just garnish it, and it is ready to serve. And now it's dessert time delicious fresh pineapple. Now before we start dessert, we've been cutting onion and um, you know non-dessert things on this board, so make sure you throw your board to the other side and use the non-onion side, because onion flavoured pineapple is probably not the best thing to impress your guests with. Lovely big pineapple. Best way to do a pineapple is chop the ends off, just like that. And then we're just going to slice down the side in a 
kind of a rounded motion and making sure we're getting all those little eyes. So just as simple as that. And this is the fastest way to slice a pineapple. Just like that. Now this, this is a really healthy dessert, just fruit. I mean, you could give your family or your guests ice cream, but I mean, eating that type of thing all the time is really going to impact your health. And if you have, you know, make healthy choices like fresh fruit and fresh vegetarian food, you are going to notice a huge increase in your vitality and energy and just things you do in life. So it really does pay to eat healthy when you eat healthy in your life. It's going to pay off. Not to mention the fact that you're going to live many years longer. So yeah, cut your pineapple in half, and then just just cut the the bit out of the middle like that. It's just as a little triangle, and that should just come out. So you don't want the tough centre bit there. And we'll do it with the other side as well. And there we go. Oh no, it's broken half. We'll just have to use that as small pieces. So again, just chop it into quarters and then just basically into nice little segments. People can pick up bite sized. And when you lay it out, try and lay it out on your platter. Pick it up in one strip and then just fan it out like that. And that's the nicest way of doing pineapple. Or any fruits for that matter. So again, we can do the other half. Nice thin bite sized pieces, assemble them together and just fan them out like that. So presentation is really important when you're doing food and it just takes a couple of extra seconds in the kitchen to turn something like, you know, you could just put out lumps of pineapple, but just a few extra, you know, bits of care and attention, you can make a dish, dish look really, really beautiful. So here's the pineapple, we've got some more mint, again mint is a great Asian flavour. So I'm just going to chop this up, oh there's a few black bits in there, otherwise it's looking pretty good. Chop any kind of ends off, so just chop it in half and then just crumble it together and just, we'll, we'll do this one really really fine. And this beautiful, oh the flavour is just amazing. So make sure you get some mint or plant a mint plant. We're going to just drizzle that over like that, that's probably enough. Going to throw some lime juice over. And again, just put it in half, give it a squeeze over, you don't need much, just to give that little extra flavour. And this beautiful pineapple with the mint and the lime will just be amazing. So healthy and it's going to, you know, energise and give you lots of energy and vitality compared to if you served, you know, something like ice cream. So there you go, a very simple dessert and kids will love it, pick it up and eat it. Okay, tofu, I turned it off, it's pretty much done now. Check this out, it's all lovely and caramelised, it's all gooey. So I'm just going to prepare this over here, just move some things out of the way. So we're just going to basically pick it out and just put it on this platter in a semi kind of arranged way. Try as much of that sauce as you can with it. We might just steady that up a little bit. So you don't just make it look perfect, but just kind of semi cared for. And um, on top of that, we're just going to put some black and white sesame seeds, my favourite garnishing thing to use. Just like that. It's looking great. And again, just a small drizzle of honey just to give it that nice little glow and that's ready to go on the table. Really nicely with this, with this stir fry. Also I thought I might just add some chopped peanuts to the stir fry. So just add a, just a bit of a handful of those just to give it some more authentic peanut taste and look and it presents better as well. Now the endami, the soybeans, these little babies are all cooked now. This has been sitting in this boiling water for about 20 minutes. So we're going to drain them. You want to drain them reasonably well. Just pour them back into the bowl. I'm just going to very lightly salt them. So we're talking like under a quarter of a teaspoon. Just a very little bit of salt. You don't need much at all. Just a sprinkle. And just a touch of oil. Again, just, just a little drop. 
just to just to add a little bit of extra flavour to them. Toss them around. And what happens is you don't actually eat the whole andami, you just basically eat it and you use your teeth to slide it out and it just pops, there we go, pops out of the andami and you eat them like that and they come out. So you just put them on the table, pick them up with your hand and eat them like that. It's a lovely fresh little thing to have on the table to make it interesting. Pour it there in the bowl and there we go. Stir fry's done, tofu's done, andami's done. Asian salad's done, and the pineapple. 30 minutes, fantastic. And there we have another Cook 30 meal. We have the Asian peanut satay. We have the lovely Asian salad with sesame, just delicious, and we've got the andami as well. The tofu with the ginger and the honey infused all through it, and we've got this beautiful pineapple. Hasn't God made some amazing fruits that we can enjoy? I just love this. Thanks for joining me on Cook 30, and I look forward to seeing you next time.